15 year old Hadim used to spend most of his day welding in a small shop to get a salary that was just enough to buy a piece of bread. Many other Senegalese children face similar challenges. They are too poor to attend school and do what they can to survive, even if this means doing hard adult work. But Hadim faces additional challenges because he is deaf. In Senegal, like many other places in the world, deaf people are marginalized and have much less of a chance in life. That's because most people here believe they are cursed. Fortunately, the body of Christ can be found in action all around the globe, extending a loving hand to those in need. It is right here at Renaissance School for the Deaf that over 90 deaf kids find an education and loving care. Anne-Marie Diouf is director of the Christian School. Overcoming a life begging on the streets. Hadim's mother says her son has changed. I praise God. The school has educated him well. He's changed for the best and is passionate about what he's doing in school. He's been completely transformed. Now, Hadim knows how to read and write, skills that will allow him to succeed in life. Renaissance School for the Deaf knows it can't help all Senegalese street children, but some of the hearing impaired are now acquiring skills and self-confidence because God is using people to change lives even in the smallest of places. Carolyn Belmer, CBN News, Dakar.